this is an informal suit. <laughs> it's got it's got patch pockets. It's brown. Have you got any trousers on? Yes. <laughs> suit trousers. Oh, good man. Had a chambers. That's what you're wearing. Too close to the camera. <laughs> All right, let's get started. This is the inaugural episode of Coffee and Council, where we have a chat over coffee about life as a barrister during the pandemic. I've got a whole vat of coffee next to me. Oh, oh, you guys yeah. have got some actual coffee. It's not just... Yeah, I've got coffee. Uh, I've got coffee. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's kick off. Um, the main change has been the increased use of technology. Um, um, the teams right now, all the changes is on there. Um, how has everyone found Microsoft Teams? Toby? Um, better than I thought I was going to find it. It's quite, it, for, for somebody of my vintage, it's more about what you've got to unlearn than what you've got to learn. Um, because you've got to stop doing things the way you used to do them. And you, um, ha having been used to just using email, for example, and um, FaceTime, if you wanted to see somebody, this is a completely, uh, well, it's a fascinating and much broader uh, palette of um, uh, abilities provided by it. But you've got to go with it and stop trying to pretend that you're using the old-fashioned technology at the same time. I have to say I've struggled with the amount of notifications we're now getting. Yeah. Well, one difficulty is that you, you, you get notifications in the different channels and you, you, you can be left floundering a little bit and you, you, you think you've answered one and then there's something else has cropped up in another channel and so you haven't noticed it. How about everyone else? I'll go, yeah. I found it kind of overwhelming at times, but I do think it's calmed down because I think in the first week we got it, all the new channels are being set up and people were trying to get used to what was going on. Now I do think it has calmed down a little bit, but you do have to be on top of it and it's hard to not just react to every single time you see a notification and just focus on doing work, for example. Yeah, putting it on um, do not disturb or something like that. I don't know if people are going to pay any heed to your status on there because um, it's it's like texting someone, isn't it, on the chat function? Yeah, it's like every version of social media that we normally had personally in one, but professionally with 70 plus friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's so quite it's a lot. <laughs> this this I mean, this hasn't been used for court yet we've obviously been kept on skype for business and zoom um is the big thing that's the one that exp has exploded recently um, there's a major concern about how safe that is whether it's gdpr compliant um what's our views on that do we think zoom is safe to use um no i i i i, I, I until very recently was uh it's very much the school of thought. Come on, this is a crisis. We need to be using the tools that are immediately available. Um, uh, the Zoom problems seem to be fixable by tweaking the settings. Um, there was kind of information coming from non-legal sources as to uh, various things you could do to stop being Zoom bombed, putting passwords on. Uh, getting control, but um, certainly, I mean, as you know, Matthew, we've been looking at stuff in the New York Times uh, mm -hmm. pretty recently today, and it looks like really bad news. And the reality is, is that you know we can pick our own platforms for for communicating internally. We can we can choose platforms for communicating with other lawyers or with clients, but. I don't think the court, this, is, this isn't going to wash with the courts. Um, uh, uh, the, the prospect of sort of huge chunks of data being mined and sent elsewhere in, in what are really sensitive discussions. I think, um, uh, I mean, obviously, I, I've been reading Zoom. Uh, 
Um, they've hired the guy from Yahoo who resigned when because the um, uh, the CIA were, were wanting to get access to it. They, they've hired him. They're obviously doing some serious house cleaning. But it's a little bit like a gold rush, and the people who get rich are the, the ones who are selling the shovels. And I think, you know, Amazon, um, uh, Google, and all the rest of it will be catching up really quickly. I've got a funny feeling Zoom is the MySpace of video conferencing. Um, but the concerns... I've still got my MySpace account, I don't know. <laughs> but the concerns, the concerns are, are coming from so many sources and from... You know, when the New York Times and the Guardian and, uh, uh, you know, fairly major um, uh, uh, respectable newspapers and companies, I mean, I you know, uh, um, uh, I'm having a mental block, but Musk's companies stop using it, whereas other people have stopped using it. I, I think it's I think it's pretty much game over for Zoom, actually. I, I hadn't had any experience of this Zoom bombing until Sade told me about her experience. Mm. Yes, um, I did have that experience. It was quite a, uh, quite a surprise. I was uh, logged on to a, um, a conference in, um, in London mm. and um, halfway through the screen just got taken over with actually, which was very disturbing, uh, pictures of the Twin Towers being blown up, a creepy clown laughing, and then some very um, adult images. Um, so I think everybody in the conference then just um, left and we set up a new link. So it did cause me quite a concern how somebody who has, um, you know, certain motivations can log on to what I thought was then secure. But actually in the last, couple of weeks since that has happened I've actually seen how Zoom has you know really ramped up its security and privacy I was on actually another London um, conference last night with over 100 participants and actually in this conference only the host and the guest speakers were able to unmute people's microphones only they were allowed to show their videos. If you wanted to ask a question, you had to write it in the question and answer box. Um, they were the only people that could share their screens also. And we each got an individual uh, link to log into the, um, the meeting. So I did find that actually very secure. And I feel like I've been quite impressed how Zoom has, uh, for it being a startup Silicon Valley company, um, has actually responded quite quickly to all the concerns that have been raised by regulators as well as users. Yeah. What's your feeling, Alice? Um, I feel like I don't know enough, understand enough about the technology, the kind of safety implications, GDPR implications, um, to, to make an informed decision. I personally wouldn't choose to host something over Zoom that was confidential. I think it's fine. I mean, we did we use Zoom for our um, Chambers pub quiz? Yeah. And that worked really well. Um, that's fine. But for anything confidential, anything client-based at the moment, unless someone official like the Bar Council or the Court Service tells us to use yeah. it and tells us that it's safe, I personally probably wouldn't choose to use it. It's like... Um... Rumsfeld, isn't it? There's things we know we don't know, and then there's things we don't know we don't know about the yeah. whole privacy policy and everything. So it seems like, I mean, certainly for my part, it's become the case that I just don't understand enough about it, like you say, Alice. And so I'm just, I'm staying away from it and cancelled my pro subscription to it. So what's our view on what we should be using these days? Charles, you're the guru. Come on. How, how am I? How am I possibly the guru? I mean, I, I, um, before March the sixteenth, I'd only ever been in, I think, a couple of video conferences, and I once did a licensing hearing that was live streamed, and, and the thought of being on camera caused me to hyperventilate, and, and, and we sort of we've, we've gone from that to being. TV stars, I mean, you know, things I didn't think I'd be buying a month ago, you know, a, a professional microphone, a green screen, and a, and a chest freezer. Um, 
Have you got your green screen up there? Is that that fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's actually um, uh, nowhere near as humble as this. Um, but uh, um, I don't know. I like. I really like teams. Um, uh, but the problem with teams is it just feels so corporate. It doesn't feel very user friendly. Um, yeah. for dialing out to people who aren't in, within chambers. Um, and, uh, um, you know, I've set up teams within teams where where non-Trinity uh, uh, chamber, Chambers people are members of that. In fact, Alice is in one of those teams. But uh, uh, I haven't yet actually set up a, an external video conference with people outside it. But, but I'll have to give that a try because uh, I'm I'm – beginning to just the the the, the natural risk aversion of, of the lawyer is kicking in so far as zoom i mean we've played around on other things we've we've got skype skype for business um citrix webex we use. citrix webex we got which um i mean all of these things they're very easy to get they're all free they're easy to sign up to but but none of the problem is none of them have the functionality of zoom um but in a in a world where you know we said this often enough a covid day is like a, a, a month in old money um i would be extremely surprised if if we see may um arrive without some major new blue chip platforms um the difficulty i have as a as a licensing lawyer and as you know people as someone who deals with government bodies a lot is is the IT problems my clients or the regulators I'm interacting with have? That uh, uh, I mean, I was speaking to a, a solicitor from an unnamed uh, local authority the other day who told me she was in the office uh, picking up the laptop that had to be shared between five people, um, and uh, the courts have got the same issue, uh, you know, with um, technology designed by a committee out of date before it was even supplied that's now gathered dust for five years and and, and just simply uh, uh, can't keep up I mean you know I, I'm realizing I'm, I'm talking to you on a, on a fairly new Apple computer and you know I'm beginning to realize that maybe the internal microphone isn't good enough maybe I need to think about about the camera and uh, and these guys are, are, are five years behind that yeah. um, Talking about the whole idea of old, we're obviously being told to use Skype for business for everything, which is my bait and why I can't stand it. It's clunky and it's horrible, particularly when we go from Teams to Zoom. Um, Toby, have you done anything on Skype for business? Any any cases or conferences or anything like that? No, I haven't, uh, I'm afraid. I, I've got no experience with at all except that uh, people in the criminal group tell me that it it works in a basic way but it's very one-dimensional um it, it's allowing them to do a job but it they compare it with everything else that they're being asked to try and it's plainly you know last not just last year's technology it's the last decade's technology yeah and due to be replaced by teams hopefully yes soon. i was uh um, because I live a very exciting life, I was looking at the at the um, cause list for the RCJ today, and, and the uh, Court of Appeal have got several hearings all on Skype for business. Um, well, I had I had a case last week where they were just handing down judgment in the Court of Appeal, but they emailed me at one o'clock the day before saying, "You're up, Skype for business. See you tomorrow. By the way, you don't need to wear a wig and gown." Um, which was slightly terrifying. But there are, you know, a lot of judges are still going to courtrooms and Skyping from courtrooms, which is bizarre. It's very strange seeing it through your screen while you're sat in, sat at home with a coffee, probably. Um, have, have we been using any other apps? Because it seems to have just been Teams, Zoom, and Skype. Um, Life Size came onto the scene with a plong. Yeah. Alice? I was going to say, I don't know what it is. 
What I know is that um, some barristers' chambers, not the one we are all a member of, have acquired the package, and there's a there's a family set. Um, uh, I genuinely can't remember their name at the minute, and uh, that's because I don't do family. Uh, there's at least one family set who's heavily advertising this as as a package, as a secure package. There's a lot of, I mean, as lawyers sort of scramble onto this bus, there's there's a lot of temptation to say we've got this package and it does X, as if as if that is somehow unique when in fact they all do X. Um, but we engaged in an internal consultancy, as you know, to help us um, uh, uh, with remote working, with agile working, and they haven't heard of it. And uh, I've rather facetiously was was querying whether it was the beta max of uh, video conferencing, uh, although I did now, with some regret, describe Zoom as the VHS. Um, uh, the, the the younger members of this coffee won't understand what the hell I'm talking about right now but uh, uh, when when video cassettes I, I, do I need to explain what a video oh, no, oh god no okay when video cassettes came out there were there were two formats Sony's Betamax and I think it was Panasonic's VHS and we've we've got there's no idea enough time to go into that Betamax was the better system by Sade but more expensive and it withered and died. Charles, <laughs> Charles, I've got Peter Max uh, tapes still that you can buy from me if you'd like. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't <laughs> want to know what's on your Peter Max. <laughs> Shade was telling me about um, Google is still hanging around in the background because they didn't they have Hangouts? Yeah, Google Hangouts or something like that. Well, what's they the? To, sorry, they appear to have launched uh, Google Meet which is Google Hangouts book for business. Mm -hmm. So from what I know, the three, the two top seem to be Teams and Zoom, which are fighting it out at the minute, but I think Google are quickly trying to catch up. Mm. Yeah. Which, I mean, I think it's quite an interesting concept because you've got Teams, which is owned by Microsoft, and you know, really, they are the major provider of networking, software, and cyber services. Yeah. And they're a very, very large company, so they're able to deal with the demands of the market right now, whereas Zoom is more of a Silicon Valley company that's been going since 2013. And actually, from December 2019 till March, they increased their users daily by 1,900%. And that's just astronomical growth for a company to go through, and especially pushing it into different jurisdictions. I feel like they're just trying to keep up with the demand they have right now, where maybe Microsoft is more in the right position to deal with the current demand. I don't think Alice's dog liked what you were saying. <laughs> Is, so, your dog, is your dog there, Alice? You were on I mute. I put myself on mute because she was still going. Do you want to introduce your dog to the... To the no, she's gone downstairs to bark at... Uh, someone rang on the door. <laughs> you have visitors? <laughs> who, who comes to your house? It's normally the man delivering wine and coffee. <laughs> or coffee. <laughs> So, so what are we saying then? Um, Zoom, Microsoft, all this Google stuff. Are we saying we're not going to use Zoom? Anymore? It's, it's it's in a state of flux, and we're we're confident that it's all going to change. But uh, I, I would imagine it's yeah. going to head down pretty quickly because there'll be trillions of dollars at stake and um, some very big players. And uh, as somebody was telling me, Zoom's worth something like fifty times all the major US airlines combined, but um, I, I don't think that's going to last very long. Um, uh, and, and really, I think you can get too hung up on it. Um, uh, I, I think, I think as, as we had in our webinar, it's 90% people and 10% technology, but, but when, when people who aren't used to 
technology are first thrown into it, they spend 90% of the time thinking about the tech. And actually, to a certain extent, we're not the masters of our own destiny, the masters or the mistresses of our own destiny. We're going to be told by courts, this is what you use. Um, and different courts will tell us different things. Yeah. Uh, I think in the meantime, Zoom is uh, too risky um, for a risk-averse profession, uh, which we are. Um, but, you know, things are moving at, a, at an absolutely insane pace and they'll carry on doing so. And um, I think, you know, personally, I try not to get too hung up about it. And actually, you know, getting back to what we were talking about earlier on, just trying to try and do some actual work without giving into the temptation to respond to every single ping, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. on the not just Teams. If only it were Teams, I've got three email accounts zooming off, my WhatsApp account zooming off, various other things. Uh, zooming is the wrong verb. And, and, and a lot of this is to try to <laughs> shut out the noise and actually – actually do some do some yeah. work for clients um, because so far I think everybody's very understanding that, that that life was on hold whilst we all readjusted but but that goodwill isn't going to last forever people are going to want to get on with serious things I know you know the family practitioners have been doing that for four weeks already uh, the business commercial licensing we're kind of catching up um, uh, and uh, um actually a lot of this at this time is about prioritization and worrying about zooms is 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 low on my list of things to do um uh, there are other apps available other platforms available and i'll just use those in the meantime isn't the best thing to do with zoom at the moment just use it for fun and by that i mean it because it has the ability to get a lot of faces on the same screen, which nothing else, as far as I'm aware, can do. Uh, if you want to use it for socialising, uh, it remains very useful. But in terms of using it for uh, business and using it for court and professional purposes, it's just a non-starter. But the, the reality is, as, as you've all been saying, there's so much money at stake in all of this that the big players will simply pick over whatever the appropriate bits of technology are. And so instead of having teams with only four screens capable, four, four faces capable of being on the screen at the same time, unless I've missed some trick in setting it up, um, someone will suddenly be producing a dozen or two dozen faces on the screen at the same time. Um, and that suddenly gives you a whole, the ability to have a whole courtroom on one uh, screen and then it'll transform things but it also uh, another lesson that i think we all need to, le to learn is uh, as each bit of technology comes out or we learn a new function or feature on each bit of technology count to 10 uh, because uh, we've all been guilty ourselves of rushing around saying we've got the latest thing this is the uh, the answer to everybody's problems and then 24 hours, 48 hours later, we're saying, oh, right, well, we'll cancel the subscription for that or we don't dare go on the other. I'm not looking at anybody, Charles. <laughs> well, I think, um, I think the time was, a, I, I think I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm going to defend myself there. I think, I think speed was very much of the essence at the beginning of this process. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm, a member of other organizations, if I can leave it as vague as that. And um, uh, it's very nice that Trinity Chambers is, is ahead of the curve because um, if you're a member of an organization that's behind the curve, um, uh, uh, it's not a pleasant place to be. And, uh, you know, there were, there were meetings that needed to be done immediately and, and Zoom was an option. But even Zoom for fun, I think you need to take a lot of care. Um, you know, from Shadow's experience, uh, you need to have, you probably need to password protect it and be careful with your settings, even if it is something as anodyne as a pub quiz or a family get-together, because um, if, if you're going to be Zoom bombed in that um, with aged or young family members, in, it's not fun. Um, 
but uh, yeah, there was the, the certainly pace. I think has helped, but 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 I I, I don't. I never, I never thought we, the, we would continue at the pace uh, we started off at. That there is time for reflection, and it's Easter, so we, hopefully we've got four four days free of notifications. And well, I don't know about Matthew and I will probably be pinging each other, uh, but uh, you know, it's 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 time to take take stock and. Uh, um, uh, do you know how, how what I'm giving to you guys at the moment? I'm not picking up my phone, which is majestic wine ringing me, to confirm <laughs> my delivery. And because I'm not to pick it up, I, you, you can't get them to answer otherwise. You should have picked it up. Yeah, you it up. Or, you'd then find out how extensive my order is. We, 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 can, <laughs> we can edit it out. He lied. <laughs> um, all right. On no, that, so that, seriously, can I just take a moment? Can we, can we can put the one thing that I think on was vitally, The one thing that I think was vitally important and still is, is that we've all shown uh, a refreshing preparedness to look at what the solutions are. And I think that's the the vital thing. It's we've been faced with a problem that nobody could have foreseen, and because of the way some people amongst our number have helped us, we've been able to go into it and look to see what are the solutions, where they lie, and we'll not get every solution right every time. But we've got solutions, and we're in a world where an awful lot of people haven't got solutions, and that's massively important, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's about um, all we should have for today. Um, we'll have to touch on some of these things next time. Final words, anyone? Alice? Um, I'll show you my what my mug says. I'd rather be with, with my dogs. I thought you were. I thought <laughs> were. Ironically, I actually am now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, sh I'll show you my mug, which Charles will recognise if, uh, if you can see it. Oh yes, that's um, a humble is, Spanish hotel. This is where I'd rather be, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you can go to Spain for any time soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Let's reconvene next time. We'll talk about something else. All right. Um, it was good to talk to you all, um, and we'll work out what the next pressing issue is. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter.